Welcome back to Pops and Pylons. Let's play some more Ukraine Vizalis 4. We're playing as Russia. We used to be Tver. We're going for a relentless push east uh, in the slightly harder version with that Tver start. And we have to own the eastern Siberian coast uh, by 1600, which is uh, 77 years to go. I'm making decent progress, I think. I mean, I've not mathed this out or anything, but I'm feeling like we might be able to complete this. Mm, out of interest, does a colony, colony tell me when it got started? That would actually be interesting information. I don't think it does. But, uh, I mean, we can do rough math. We're getting 110 um, stuff per year here, colonists per year, plus the 60 from the settler chance. So that's 170 settlers per year. We need two, a thousand, not two thousand, one thousand. So one thousand divided by one hundred seventy is uh, around about six years for one. And we said we needed six to get here. So that's going to be thirty-six years ish. Then we're going to quickly war these guys and grab all these colonies. And then there's going to be one. Maybe two colonizations to do, which we can do at the same time. So yeah, I do feel like we're we're in good time here. Um, I did not include the time that needs is needed to finish this. Also, but it felt like there was some room there, right? I think we're fine. And don't need to do any drastic stunts. That's really why I wanna. Um, well, I'll buy that stab. Yeah, I'll buy stab for Patrick Authority here, Patriarch. It saves us admin in the long run, medium long run. It would help with that um, Novgorod mission we had, not Novgorod, Tver mission we had, if we were still Tver, which we were obviously not. But yeah, Queen of the People. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab that legitimacy. I mean, I don't need it. But I don't wanna spend admin power or ducats right now. So, I'm gonna do that. Can I marry somebody? Uh, I'm considering that right now because we will gain five legitimacy from this. We have a hundred, so we're capped. If we were to marry somebody and maybe pay some legitimacy for that, up to five, and we could just grab that back. We're married to the Danes, the Poles, and the Perms. Can we not marry the, oh no, we have a personal union with the ODFs, so we can't marry them. So that's all my vassals and allies married. So that's a no for me, because anybody else I would ally, uh, marry would cost me a diplomatic relation, which I do not have available. I don't think I have any other buttons that cost legitimacy at this point in time. So, yeah. click the button. Make it a non-event. It's fine. It's fine, Grumble. Colonizing all this Arctic stuff here. That seems like rough work. Uh, you are not. Oh, you must be in a different trade zone. You are. You and Jiren. I don't care much about Jiren. But. I also don't care to convert this place. Oh, it's orthodox. I don't need to convert it. Alright. Might as well keep it then. I guess. Because we're not gonna get a 50% uh, trade company in Jiren. Half price stab cost guy. I don't care about stab cost, but it's half price. Which means and it's an artist. Artist is admin, right? Yeah. That's half price. Five ducats? No, that's the half price one. I was about to say. I know he's a Jew, but apparently I can I think it's just culture that it's relevant for promotion, not religion. At least I hope so. So what I could do is grab this half price stab cost person, promote him, pay... I don't know how much. I forget how that works. <laughs> but at least I'll pay half uh, the price of the level 3 one there. Can I find out how Find out how much uh, you're a half price level three guy, right? Yeah, you cost five ducats. So if we grab him there, 
And we pay the same price and get that extra admin point. Now we currently are converting. So giving up the two missionary strength, maybe not the best idea. But something to keep in mind. And admin might be more important than the missionizing. So might want to consider just using it. But hey, we're fabricating on people for reasons. Um, we're fabricating on Yeren because we want to take attack Solon. Grab a claim as soon as we have a colony here in Chara. Uh, that probably means that we want to transfer some troops. How is force limit in these places? Probably horrific. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Siberia. Let's split this into harvices and start walking east. Uh, Penal colony? Heck yeah. I mean, I don't actually care about Eastern, Eastern Kaska, I don't think. But heck yeah. <laughs> uh, I could take Churden or lose my claim on Churden. It's a Churden again, and why would I want it? That's a, oh, it's a center of trade. I mean, that is somewhat excellent. Right? Uh, if we grab it, we do what? They just like me less? They don't even get um, Liberty Desire? Yeah. Gimme. Wrong religion, but good cult. No, your relic culture is not accepted in our land. But still, it's a center of trade. Then again, it's my subject center of trade, right? And I could just ask my subject, I should just ask my subject to give me trade here. Yeah, I don't need that center of trade. Uh, let's just let go of that claim and ask my Permian people to give me that money. Should have done that earlier, clearly. Um, Odiev. I can ask them for their trade power, but I don't care. Well, I'm actually, I'm steering from Kiev. So I probably want to do it. Yeah, they are not steering there. Apparently. So yeah, Odiev, please give me that trade power. Uh, not siphon income. Wait, can I not? Do that to a. Apparently, I can't do that to a junior partner. Fine. It's fine. I'm not unhappy or anything. Uh, you guys uh, have started to move. I'm gonna give them a full province ahead of time. Because provinces take different amounts of time to. Traverse, and that would lead to or could lead to these guys being in the same province from time to time, and that might fall on a monthly tick and would cause attrition. Then, I think if they have two provinces or if they have a full province between each other, then that should not happen. And yes, I could be start stepping my way east to keep my rebel suppression going, but I really don't wanna. <laughs> Really don't want to. So I'm not going to do it. Just no. Rival removed. Mamlok's not going to the Poland as their rival. Hmm. <laughs> sure. What a good choice. Uh, speaking of, we're not embargoing the Ming. Let's do that. Annoy them a bit, but mostly give me that extra bit of power protection. How are you doing? Almost there. Almost. Um, you're still grabbing admin. Good, good, good. Uh, there's Vernegast. That's the almost I was looking for. So I want to immediately do Chara. Now, if we're actually doing this, I'm considering using Siberian Frontier here. Because we only need adjacency here for 
grabbing this stuff, right? I keep forgetting how exactly coring range works. It's a complicated thing. Do I need a core here? Or do I just need to have this? Because if I just need to have this, then all I can do... I'm pretty sure I can fabricate if I put a, a colony down. I've done that before, right? And if I can fabricate, I assume I should also be able to take it in a war. So I think we're fine doing a Siberian Frontier one here. And then running our colonists once we grab Urken and, well, Urken, that's all we need. Maybe Yudi, because that gives us a C connection here. That might or might not help. And then immediately start our colonists working on this one. Or even overseas. We're probably not going to be able to do the first one overseas. The real question is, is it worth to start a colony? Yeah, money is not a real issue, right? I'm gonna run... What if that turns out to not work the way I want it to? That would be horrible, right? If I start a Siberian one here and it turns out that it doesn't allow me to take the land before it's done, then I would have to abandon the thing. Now I'm gonna do Siberian. For one, because I'm relatively sure that I can now um, fabricate a claim here. Uh, yep. On that Urken province. And for another, this should allow me to, well, this allowed me to instantly do it rather than waiting for my colonists to arrive. It's going to take like a year, right? You know, I think I can declare war. Ah, but I cannot. Oh, no, I just haven't got my cow's belly yet. Fine. You go down there. Um, how many people are there here? A thousand? Six hundred and nunchaku there. Let's get one of you in there. Now, Nuktui. Do you also start this Siberian one? Because we're saying we're going to use our recallers over there. I guess. Okay. And I mean, worst comes to worst, I'm going to have to cancel one of those Siberian ones and run a colonist there, right? Also, how much store are they now? Um, we started Kerensk at the same time. It's, at eight, yeah, it's not that horrible. It's not good if it doesn't work, but it's not horrible. You should get a pop-up about getting a Cousin's Belly soon. Wait, you guys still... Oh, because you have... One of you has a general. Now, both of you managed to get into Sync. I may have screwed that up with the generals. Oof. Oof. Um, let's have you halt. I'm not going to have you guys halt because there's one right on your tail there, right? Mm, that's unfortunate. really hope that that would be enough. Mm -hmm. I do kind of want to put some suppression on perm, even if it, each individual instance here is quite puny. Total should add a little bit of help with that unrest. Now, I'm not afraid of the Permian unrest because it's temporary thanks to religious things and it. We have support the Oprichnina. Sure. Oprichnina? I don't know. How should I know? <laughs> um, we have that thing, so we don't necessarily need to. We don't necessarily care if they get a bit of unrest, I'm trying to say. Now, Dongai, territory of Yudiji, but that's fine. All I want is your maps. I need 50 spy network. Get to work. 
Um, I mean, I could declare war already, but I didn't move my troops in time. I should have obviously moved my troops before we got into this situation. That's excellent. You get moving. You say Crimea. I felt like they just said Crimea. I probably said Cheetah. Um, some colony just got self-sustaining. Was it one with a colonist? It was not. In V something. V something. V something. Wasn't this one? Oh, it's this one down here. Which gave me the border to the to this field over here. But we don't need to attack the Mongolians. So I shall not. I shan't. Do I want to run? I guess I do. Do I want to? The answer is yes. Um, Kerensk is not quite done, but you can probably spare a guy. All these provinces are essentially not protected. These are not the 5k uh, native sex that you sometimes see in, like, uh, the New World. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing that Monopoly button. And I think I'm going to make some PS my capital. It's only, it's only right. Do I state this place? Or do I actually make it a trade company instead? Stating costs admin, which I currently don't want to spend. Wait, this is already a trade company? At least I can do trade company investments, so apparently something here is a trade company. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it a trade company, it'll be fine. I don't actually particularly care one way or the other. But I am tempted to make some Petersburg the capital. Just can't say no to buying nine development for money. Also upgrading his trade center. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I don't know that that is the right choice to make here at all. Now, speaking of the right choice, we should be able to get factories. <laughs> Which doesn't do much, but we really want general colonization and colonization law. Sure, grab those factories. For reasons, uh, everybody is moving, right? All my troops are moving. Now what am I gonna need to declare war on the Yaranis? I certainly wanna punch them if, ooh, we're allowed to the oil rod. That's a bit annoying because it means that we're all open down here. Now Yaran itself has no troops. Even if so long. So we don't need a big army here to crush the Yaranese. So it's probably fine to keep like 20k people here to deal with Oirat and its ilk, right? It seems Oirat and Mongolia are gonna be attacking me here. Yes, they're gonna be attacking me. That's how that works. <laughs> Freaking orphanages. I have to be a bit mindful of my... What? Did you just eclipse Ming? Uh, no. Did they eclipse me? I mean, they're a bit more powerful than I am, but not like that much. Huh? Hmm. I don't know. Colony in Berezov is done. Guess we go to that place with half of this. I don't really have a lot of reasons to do this. Uh, yeah, I will move you and cancel your autonom autonomous suppression. So we have so 9k stack here is going to the front and a 10k here. That's totally enough to beat up the Yaranese quickly. I do want my cannon there, though. And I don't have my cannon there. Run, cannon, run. With like, uh, my maneuverious, most maneuverious, maneuveriest? The person I have with the most maneuver. <laughs> that one. Uh, heretics of Perm, done. Nice. 
Now, Glazov and Iglino are still conversion options. I guess all of these technically are. Novosibirsk. I'm very tempted to stop conversion right here, right now. But our unity is so bad. Hmm. And it's quite quick. <sighs> yeah, let's do Iglino. For the record, let the re record reflect that I don't like this. <laughs> but I'm that I'm not sure that the other option is any better. I revoke this embargo, please. And I can make states. Can you not be part of my trade company? Not until... Why? Left trade company? Did I press the leave trade company button? When did I do that? Did I do that? Oh, are these all? These are all the um, former current places. Maybe I never had them in the trade company. Oh, my Inquisitor died. Well, so much for the conversions, I guess. So now I'm gra gonna grab the half price stab cost person. And if I could afford it, I would promote him. But I cannot. Because I made something my capital. Did I remove these from the trade company? Did I, like double click in the add to trade company window or something? Add all eligible. Oh, you can't negative click here. It's not a thing. Maybe these were never in. And it's the Bukharans that removed it. Or taking it from the Bukharans removed it. Maybe. No, I must have killed all of this. How did I do this? I went... Last episode when I checked this, I was at 45%. And now apparently all my provinces are out. When did they all stop being part of the trade company? 8th of March, 1530. So it's either... I mean, I'm sure it wasn't 10 years ago, because that was not last episode. And since it's probably a 5 or a 10 year timer, it's probably a 5 year timer, that means March this year, we just did it? How? How did I mass remove all those provinces? When did it never become my capital? Ah, uh, I know this province history button here. Second of April, eh? And when do you say this ends? Eighth of March. Doesn't quite fit. It's the only action I can remember doing that would do that. I'm utterly confused. Right? I didn't do anything else drastically. Drastic. And we just proved that there wasn't a button for removing them. Wait, there is. There's a closed trade company button. I may have hit that. Which is awful. But. If you've seen that, uh, or you feel like going back in the video and uh, checking, then please do let me know in the comments whether that's what I did. Or whether you know something else that I did there. Just screw that up. But screwed up I did, oh did I. Clearly. Not intentionally. It wasn't me being utterly daft. It was just... Uh, what might be utterly daft now is this conversion. How are we doing on that? Uh, it's going to be done in 28, 3 years. Yeah, I guess I'm going to finish it. But I'm not happy about it. West Tungus got changed to copper. Kerensk is done. Merge to perm has ended. That's a bit late. Uh, East Tunguska. No. Didn't it say West Tunguska was done? 
Or maybe West Tunguska. No, Kirensko is done. West Tunguska discovered their, um, their cop. That's what happened. All right, cannon is here. People are here. I want war. Give me that war. Uh, wait, how do I not have a cousin's belly? I have a claim on your subject. Right? Do I have to declare your subject? Uh, apparently. Does that always been this case? Maybe. <laughs> Quash is not going to come in. That's nice. It's going to save us some time there. Um, the Oirat are going to come in and they're not likely not to, so that's fine. Uh, need to, don't need to call anybody in. This will all be... So it'll all be grand, grand and groovy. We take Urkel and then maybe Yudi. If I declare war on you... No, since the Orient are going to come... Uh, the Yaren is going to come in. The enemy vessel overlord title. <laughs> hmm. We will be able to take their land. It will cost twice. Oh no, they're going to be co-belligerent. They're going to be able to call in their own allies. That's why Orient is coming in. And that is fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, take Urken. So we not, should not have to pay a double price for the other province. Now, Mongolia is a subject of the Irat? Yes. So I'm feeling like I don't want to keep my guy in Berguzin. The natives might rise up, but that just seems excessive. Trying to get that done. Um, get you on here. Get that siege of Altai, whatever done. Yeah. I don't want to walk that way. I'm just going to take Altai Uriaki. I'm going to have my backup over here in Novosibirsk. Uh, 22nd of December, 14th of December. You do have some movement, but it seems like it's faster to walk in from Kuznetsk. So let's prepare for that. And. Hopefully keep an eye on this very long front line. I have a, almost enough spy network on Dongai to steal, steal those maps. That's very nice. Uh, we had enough, maybe we did have enough to make another claim on Yaren here. Oh, but we don't have claims, boring claims, so we couldn't have claimed UD anyway. Uh, let's quickly crush you. Let's also bring in the extra siege boy before we are in land where we cannot. There is the Oral army. Feel like we can chase him down. Oh, you probably have a mean sound from outside somewhere. Or I think somebody's drilling. Um, sorry for that. If it continues, I will not record another episode after this, but for this episode, I think we're stuck with the drilling. If it does continue. Grab. And I can't really, I mean, it's a Saturday, uh, Sunday, but I can't really complain about people drilling on Sundays here because I've done it too. An army career, 15 tradition, loyalty swap, Reno, loose tradition, gain profession. I do love professionalism, but no, I'm gonna take the, the tradition. Naval supplies for technology, uh, no. <laughs> Who about new? We're gonna be sober, super over time on here, so I'm gonna finish exploration. Uh, which also gives us Yiliyama tradition and advisor cost reduction. It's actually quite decent. I assume the Naval Secrecy Act is absolutely useless, but I will give it a look. It is absolutely useless. <laughs> I mean, yes, I can envision situations in which it's useful. But this is none of them. Also, there's not a lot of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, books. Free policy. Yeah, I know, but it's garbage. Why would I? Now, technically, if we don't envision any other diplomatic policies in the near future, but we do... We get locked in for 10 years once we take this, and this really does nothing. So I don't think we should take it. We don't care about foreign spy detection, do we? I don't think so. I'm wondering if I should recruit some people. I mean, we have the force limit and the 
uh, we don't have tons of money. Maybe we should be recruiting while we don't need it. Curse somebody over here, that's nice. We know the oil rod are there. Which is slightly scary for my other people that are around there. Let's go down to siege stack size and have the rest go here. We need to protect our colonizing colony supporters. People. Those people. I can't believe I France rivaled me. I mean sure. You do you France. Weird. Um, I still can't believe that I did. Uh, that I apparently cancelled that trade company. Oh, you did join the war after all. Didn't say they wouldn't. I feel like it said they wouldn't. I just checked right now because I saw that we saw that capital and I was wondering why that was the case. Um, I am feeling grabbing an extra general here. Probably gonna be over general limit then. Three siege pips? I am so happy. You've never seen me this happy. Can't possibly have ever seen me this happy. Um, now do I try to siege down West Butaha? I guess I do. Where are those? Yeah, they're there. Somebody else is gonna deal with that. I mean... Surely uh, Vassal's capital is worth some war score. Let's go ahead and crunch these people. It's a pretty spread out war, so you'll see me pause even more than I usually do. <laughs> and I usually do pause a lot. That's a lot of Mongolians. Uh, 28th of May, 8th of April. So that's fine. But we're gonna need support in the in there. So it's not Siege Down Korchin. Let's instead try to meet up with my 10 stack from the west. I don't remember if there's a way for these guys to burn my colonies. But it would suck if they could. Oh. We got caught here faster than I expected. Uh, 9th of June. That's like forever. When can we leave? 29th? Jeebus. This place and walking. 12th of June. So if I gave you a maneuver car, you would probably get out. Um, and I guess that's you. This is the only general I have available. Yeah. Run. Grab that and then go west. You are already going west. You... Tempted to grab Hangen and then go west as well. We don't need a huge victory here, but we do need to generate enough war score slash exhaustion that we can piece these guys out. How happy am I to... Oh, what I'm not happy with is running this without a general. Let's at least grab you. I can't really take Artamon. Well, I can, actually. Um, the guy that's running... Oh, you don't need a guy anymore anyway, because they changed their direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's meet up. Let's be careful. So you do not need a general anymore. And then you, because you're still in no man's land, can grab the somewhat decent combat person. Didn't really expect that many Mongolians to show up, to be fair. No, I mean, maybe that was foolish not to expect it. But I did. Beat them again now. I assume I want my best siege guy on the siege of this and then of Fudali. So let's make that happen. You go there. And then once you're there, I'm gonna move out my other siege person and some of the troops. So let's deselect you. 
merge. I need to be careful not to lose the wrong general here. That's why I'm being a bit... Uh, I don't even know what kind of word to use here. Fiddly about it, I guess. And we're gonna merge these, okay. Now I have um, best siege boy at the siege. These guys meeting up. This would be relatively trivial. Ooh, I like these guys running away. Now, there's a chance they're going to try to go for their own capital. So I'm gonna go over there for protection. And you guys are going for... Oh, you're also running away. Excellent. Felt hats. Who felt those hats? Uh, natives in Obdorsk. And we're just. Being just is good. I like being just. Mm, I wish I could put my people into my uh, trade company again. I also wish I would realize that I need to put a cut into this video. So um, thank you folks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, then you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And anything at all you would like to say to me, you can say to me in that comment section. You know, YouTube terms of conduct and all that. But yes. Essentially anything you would like to say to me. If you would like to say something to me, it's probably nice anyway, so go ahead and do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see you next time!